How's it going guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we've got another Grand Arena episode against this gent, Tendris. Um, got about 6.2 million GP over me, although we've matched the top 80. Um, pretty matched up. I think the only difference would be he's got much more mods than I do. So much more. So it's going to be a tough one today, guys. This guy looks like he knows what he's doing. A little bit more relics as well. Just to give you a brief overview. Uses gas to climb. Doesn't have any galactic legends yet, fortunately. Looks like he's going for Ray. And yes, the bottom line, we've got Grievous and Old Republic. So I'm going to start with this Sith team here, led by EP. Should be pretty straightforward. So at the start, we're stuck behind this Bactoid Shield Generator. So we're going to apply Fear and we're going to pass this 10 meters straight on to Treya. Going to isolate Magna Guard in the back and we're going to do a mass stun here. So the goal here is to try and get shock onto most of these opposing characters. The problem is that Grievous at the beginning is um, stealthed up and we have to muck around a little bit here, try and get shock onto B2. We've already got shock on what? So we're going to try and get shock on Magna Guard in the back as well. And at this point, we don't want to drop Grievous's health too low, because then he's going to force Mark us onto one of the opposing droids. So we don't want that. I've got Annihilate ready. However, Grievous hasn't taken a turn yet. And what I found was that the enemy AI of Grievous, they like to go for Nihilus. So I've had to remod my Nihilus to be a bit more tanky, just for this. And I passed that turn meter onto him too early because I was hoping for Grievous to have taken a turn already by now. But that's not the case. So we just have to muck around a little bit more, try to drop a little bit of protection. Grievous goes for Nihilus there. Got a stun on B2 and I'm going to try and apply ability block here. So Nihilus is about to take a turn, there we go, and we've got Annihilate onto Grievous. So the Annihilate timing is a little bit off, I was hoping to try and get Annihilate as or oh, right after Grievous takes a turn and that way I can just drop him straight away. So now is um, it's just about banner pinching, just try to get a little bit of that protection back. And it looks like um, I've got Throne coming up as well. Let's pass this turn meter on to EP. And just drop B1 there. Got another Annihilate ready. But we're, get, we can, we're gonna see how much we can get back So this um, counter works really well um, if, if there's a Wat Tambor on the opposing team. I've not tried it against the BB-8, but from what I hear it's a bit more iffy. It's hard to try things in Grand Arena, so I've really got to get, get a shout out to my guildmates who have helped me so much in this game. So shout out to Honorbound. Um, our guild's doing really well at the moment and they're really, yeah, really good um, guild mates to have around. So shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for all your help. So the next battle looks like 
uh, Old Republic here at the bottom. And we've got 58 banners in that Geo, oh, in that um, GG Separate Destroyed team, which I'm quite happy about. At the top here, we've got Bounty Hunters, Scoundrels, the usual stuff. That's what I found in most of my matchups. People usually use the same lineups for the top line. So I kept Geos here just for kicks. I actually really like having Geos on offense. You don't have to think much when you play these guys. Um, they do a lot of assisting and then they apply so much damage and they can recover so much banners as well, which is probably one of the most important things when you're picking an offensive team. So we've um, dropped Karth fairly easily there before Zalbar was able to react with the taunt, which is great. And now we're just going to slowly chip away on this opposing team here. And really looking forward to that 60 banner win. So at this point I was thinking there might be something strong in the back line just because um, there's this old Republic here in the front and he's got so much GP and so many relict characters. Although I do, I, I do have to say um, this is my first GAC that um, I've had Supreme Leader Kylo Ren and I've utilized him on defense which makes me feel a little bit dirty to be honest. So now the strategy becomes if they have a galactic legend then I'll have to keep mine and if they don't then I can mess around and apply or place them on defense. So in the back line he's got a Geo's team here as well and an Ewok squad. So pretty straightforward, pretty soft defense I gotta say. He seems to have held on to a lot of his meta teams on offense. So I really I wanted to hit this Ewok team, but I was thinking of doing a solo, solo gas against this team. I did hold on to gas and I was thinking I don't need gas for any other team. So we're just going to slowly drop these Ewoks one by one with counter attacks and get some good banners off this one. So I've got a pretty decently relict um, Enfys Nest here at the bottom as well. And Geo's in the back line. And on offense, I've still got a fair few teams. I've got Padme. And I was about to use Shark T here, however, I did realize I uh, still have the 5 out first, so I better not. And that way she can um, play a leader to that team. The good thing about that team as well is you can get maximum amount of banners from all her re protection recovery. So we're going to use Padme here with three R2D2. Everyone's got stealth at the moment, so we're going to try and increase our courage stacks. So we're going to uh, just slowly drop these opposing characters here. Got Enfys Nest in the back. It's quite high relic. So I'm just waiting for that moment where I get enough courage stacks so I can drop Enfys in the one hit. There we go. 65k there. Drops Enfys Nest. And I've almost lost R2D2 here as well. So I'm going to stall a little bit. Try and get that health back. There we go. That cleanse does the trick and got another AOE here for 54 banners. 
and I'm quite happy with that. So with the Geos in the back, I've still got First Order and Jedi that I could potentially use. And I thought about using First Order here. However, I didn't want to use my Jedi... Uh, my, I didn't want to waste my Jedi team as they were just sitting there. It was very unexpected that he would um, hold on to most of his meta teams. So Geo's here, I'm gonna pass the turn meter on to Grandmaster Yoda, get my stealth up and going. I decided to use a basic there instead because I know once Brood takes a turn, he's got a really bad dispel that could really ruin my my plans. So I marked Brood. Unfortunately, I couldn't drop him here and I couldn't drop him on the sub subsequent hits. And here comes the uh, Geonosian turn me to train. We've got exposes everywhere and we're about to lose Jolie. Got Savior propped. We've still got Brood marked here. And I've used the Battle Meditation there. Almost lost Hodor as well. I'm gonna pass this on to Grandmaster Yoda and we finally drop Brood there. So the other thing that I wasn't expecting here was after this, I was planning on getting recovery, but instead I drop everyone with 30k plus damage on that AoE. And I couldn't get the banners back, unfortunately. But I'll take the win either way. So I'm going to use Shakti here in the top. Or I've still got CLS actually, so I might undersize this with my favorite Rebel squad here. So with the Kira lead, we want to go for Vandor. Straight away, get him out of the way. I'm gonna dispel L3 and I'm gonna go for Kira as well. Very straightforward and drop everyone very quickly. And it's a really good result as we're gonna get max banners here. CLS is very useful in a lot of different um, scenarios in GAC. I like to keep him for offense because he can potentially beat gas as well with Wat Tambor. And I usually hold on to Wat Tambor for offense. He's got so much utility, guys. So this Bounty Hunter squad here I use Shakti and I've got 3 PO so I just threw him in. I'm gonna try and drop Zam as quick as I can. Pass this to Ark in the back. Does a lot of assists and I'm gonna place Confuse onto Bosk which is pretty useless. But we gotta dispel anyway so we can now go for Zam. Get this mass assist. Pretty decently relict um, bounty hunters here. Which if I had Dengar and Zam, I would actually save these guys for offense because they're so good against Night Sisters. And they can recover so much banners as well. So at this point I'm just trying to recover protection. And the annoying thing about this team is Dengar's only job here is really just to uh, drop your protection and that way you don't get optimal banners. I'm gonna pass this protection onto Echo. Place Confuse. I'm gonna wait up on that um, aerial advantage. It looks like there was one more character that needed protection here. So that's my final score guys. I skipped out on the ship 
side of things. I hope you enjoyed the content today. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.